Exercise 10.3, question 1. Can a polyhedron have four its faces? First is the three triangles. Will they have uh, three triangles, four triangles? And second, third is a square and four triangles. So first answer for three triangles. No, a polyhedron cannot have three triangles for its faces because it have at least four faces. We have already learned that a cube is having four faces. So it should have a four faces. Three tri uh, this cannot be a polyhedron. Now what is second? Second is four triangles. There are four triangles. Now yes, a polyhedron can have four triangles for its faces as triangular pyramid. Like if a triangular pyramid means so a poly, yes, a polyhedron can have four triangles for its faces as triangular pyramid. Now what is third? A square and a four triangles. Yes, again there are four triangles. So uh, yes, a polyhedron can have a square and four triangles for its faces as a pyramid with square base. Here also it is a triangular pyramid and here also there will be a pyramid with a base will be square. Now. Question 2. Is it possible to have a polyhedron with any given number of faces? Yes, it can be possible only if the number of faces is greater than or equal to 4. It should be 4 or greater than 4 because a polyhedron has at least should or, or should have at least 4 faces. Now question 3. Which are the prisms among the following? First is a nail is given to us. So no, a nail is not a prism because as we know for a prism to be right, the top and bottom that is top and the base should be congruent. So here it is not congruent and the lateral faces are also not parallelogram. So nail is not a prism because its base and top are not congruent polygons. Second, a pencil, unsharpened pencil is given to us. Yes, here the top and the base both are of same uh, same uh, polygons that is congruent polygons and unsharpened pencil is a prism because its base and top are congruent polygons and faces these are the faces these are these faces are parallelograms so these two conditions of a prism is fulfilled so this will be a prism now third a table weight this is a table weight this is triangular shape and the base is square shaped but no a weight is not a prism because its top and base are here base is same but there is no top so these are not congruent polygons so this will not be considered a prism a box uh, it can be clearly seen that top and the base are same and also this, sh uh, this shape can also be considered as parallelograms. So yes, box is a prism because its base and top are congruent polygons and lateral faces are parallelograms. Okay, so a box is also a prism. Now question 4. First, how are prisms and cylinders alike? How are they alike? Because they are top, top and base of a prism and of a cylinder. They are same. In cylinder it is in circular manner. So top and base are same. Are congruent and parallel. They are parallel to each other. And a prism becomes a cylinder. A prism can become a cylinder. If the number of sides of the base becomes larger and larger. If the number of sides are of the base of a prism becomes larger and larger. Then the prism can be converted into a cylinder. Okay, now second, how are pyramids and cones alike? How are pyramids and cones alike? The pyramids and cones are alike because their lateral faces meet at a vertex. Here for a cone also this will be like this. So their lateral surfaces uh, for a cone it will be like this. So their lateral surfaces will meet at a point that is known as vertex. And for pyramid also the same way we have learned the, all the vertex will meet at a so all the faces will meet at a point that is a vertex okay also a pyramid becomes a cone if the number of sides of its base becomes larger and larger so a pyramid can be become a cone if the number of sides of its base so a pyramid have like this so if the base is increasing larger and larger the number of sides are increasing then it can be converted into a cone so that's why pyramids and cones are alike 
क्वेश्चन फाइव इज अ स्क्वायर प्रिज्म सेम एज अ क्यूब एक्सप्लेन नो अ स्क्वायर प्रिज्म इज नॉट सेम ओनली एज अ क्यूब इट कैन बी अ क्यूबॉइड आल्सो सो एज पर एज यू नो दैट फॉर प्रिज्म टू बी ट्रू बोथ द बेस एंड द टॉप शुड बी कॉन्ग्रुएंट एंड देर शुड बी देर लैटरल सर्फेसिस शुड बी पैरलोग्राम so it is true for cube but not only cube it is true for cuboid also that is why we have written here it is not only true for cube but it should be cuboid also because cuboid is also having the top and base as congruent and their lateral surfaces are parallelogram now question 6 verify euler's formula for these solids so a solid shape is given to us let's find out the faces vertices and edges what are the number of faces here first we will see the lateral faces 1 2 3 here 4 and this side 5 so five lateral faces and top and base so 5 plus 2 will be 7 so total number of faces for this solid shape is 7 now what are the vertices vertices at the uh, point where the edges meet so 1 2 3 4 and 5 and same 5 there will be in the base also so 5 plus 5 it is 10 so total number of vertices is 10 now how many edges are there first see let's see the edges of this top 1 2 3 4 and 5 so five edges uh, at the top and same five edges will be at the base also so 5 plus 5 10 and how many edges at this uh, uh, surface the lateral surface that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 to so 5 plus 5 plus 5 that is total 15 edges so according to the formula f plus v minus e let's put the values into the formula that is 7 plus what is is 10 minus 15 7 plus 10 is 17 17 minus 15 is equal to 2 so that is equal to the Uh, sorry that is equal to the rhs side of the euler's formula so thus this is proved so what is uh, so f plus v minus e is equal to 2 so this euler's formula is proved here so second is this shape is given to us let's find out the faces first this triangular pyramid type we are seeing first 1 2 3 and 4 four faces of this 5 6 Back seven, eight, and this base as nine. This will be considered open, so this will not be considered as a face. Number of, so total number of faces that is four, and this five, one, two, three, four, and the base five. So that will be nine. And how many vertices are there? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine vertices and edges. One, two, three, and four. Four edges up. One, two, three, four. Four plus four, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. These are all vertices. So total number of sorry, uh, uh, these are all edges. So total number of edges are sixteen. F plus V minus E. That is according to the formula is equal to nine plus nine minus. 16 that is 9 plus 9 is 18 18 minus 16 is equal to 2 and we what was the formula f plus v minus e is equal to 2 so this is equal to the rhs side hence the euler's formula is true here now question 7 using euler's formula find the unknown so these are the things that are given to us we have to find the faces faces is uh, question mark what is is 6 edges is 12 so what is the formula f plus v minus e is equal to 2 f we have to find so we will keep f as it is plus what is is number of what is is 6 edges are 12 is equal to 2 therefore F is equal F plus sorry uh, plus six minus twelve means minus six is equal to two. Therefore, F is equal to two plus six. This will go this side. So plus so six plus two is eight. Therefore, F is equal to eight. Total number of faces are eight. Now second faces are given to us as five vertices we have to find and edges is nine so according to the form Euler's formula that is f plus v minus e is equal to two f is five vertices we have to find so we will keep v as it is minus nine is equal to two therefore uh, v five minus 
9 will be minus 4 that is equal to 2 and v is equal to 2 plus 4 that is equal to 6. So total number of vertices is 6. Now third number of faces is given to us 20 vertices is 12 and edges we have to find. So what is the formula Euler's formula is f plus v minus e is equal to 2. f is 20 vertices are 12 minus e we have to find out and is equal to 2. So if we bring this minus to this side uh, minus e this side so it will be e so we can write it as 20 plus 12 this 2 will come here so minus 2 that is equal to e so 20 plus 12 is 32 minus 2 is equal to e we can bring, write like this e is equal to 32 minus 2 will be 30 so total number of edges will be according to these number of faces and vertices is this is 30 can a polyhedron have 10 faces, 20 edges and 15 vertices? So this is the question that has been asked. So how we can prove this if it is possible to ha uh, have this number of faces for uh, faces and edges and vertices for a polyhedron? We can put the, uh, it into a formula that is Euler's formula. So first let's write what are the number of faces that is given to us. That is number of faces is 10. Then vertices is given to us 15 and edges is given to us 20. So according to the formula f plus v minus e should be 2 should be 2 so therefore lhs is equal to f plus v minus e that is equal to f is 10 plus 15 minus 20 that is equal to 10 plus 15 is 25 minus 20 that is equal to we are getting 5 which is not equal to rhs according to the euler's formula right so therefore this cannot be a polyhedron cannot be a polyhedron